Hey YouTube, it's Hannah again, and I'm going to update you guys on everything that's been happening with me lately since I haven't done one of these in a very long time. I think the last time I actually like told you guys about myself was when I told you that I was single and that was about it. So I'm going to start with the summer because I don't think I ever really talked about myself and what I was doing over the summer. So um, to just kind of get, sorry my cat is right here, if he like gets up don't be like what, okay. <laughs> but um, over the summer I wanted to try and get ahead with some classes for school so I decided to take summer school and I took an easy class, I knew I'd get an A and it wouldn't be all that much work. And so I did. I took consumer management. I finished that with an A, and that was really all I did over the summer besides um, I was trying to hang out with my friends more, which I didn't do that as much as I really wanted to because they were either on vacation or I was tired with Aiden or I was, like, something always seemed to be happening. But, I mean, I did hang out with them more. So I'm glad for that because, um, as you guys know, me and George aren't together. And um, I kind of pushed all my friends to to the side so I could spend time with him. So now I was like thinking, well, uh, I don't have any friends. I think I'm going to reach out to some of my old friends that I feel like I left because of George. Um, and so I did, and I'm really glad I did because now I'm really close with this nice group of girls, and I like hanging out with them. And it's just awesome because they accept Aiden and everything. And, um, what's it called? So then school started in August, and Aiden is going to daycare at our local kinder care. And he loves it there. Okay, this is not about Aiden, but anyways, he goes to kinder care um, until 3 every day. And I go to school. Um, a full day, pretty much, except for I'm not going 8th period, which is not a big deal because almost half the school leaves in 7th period because, I don't know. But, yeah, <clears throat> I go through the whole day taking all normal classes. I have a lunch period. It's not like I have my schedule jam-packed with anything. And I'm doing really good in all my classes. I'm proud of myself. I got all A's and B's on my first quarter. And right now I have all A's and a B in gym. And the reason I have a B in gym is because, like, it's a soccer class. And I thought, oh, this would be so fun and easy. But the teacher only watches her favorite players, and she'll give them full points. And if she doesn't see you, like, handling the ball because she's not looking at you, you don't get as many points. So I'm going to be switching out of that to go into a strength and conditioning class because time to tone this mommy up. Um, it's been a year almost and I really hate how my body is right now. I have a really jiggly tummy. Um, I'm not as strong as I was. I don't have the running endurance that I used to. So I think this class will be really good for me um, to, do in, to do for gym. And then also this coming spring, if, if, if everything's working out, if I'm in a good place with Aiden and, like, I don't know, I have the help that I need, then I think I might join the soccer team at our school. So that's a major, major if, and that will also help me get way back into shape, and I'll be really happy if I can do that. But I'm not getting my hopes up or anything because I don't know how, what's all going to happen. But, um, let's see. I have been thinking more about what I'm going to be doing as of next year and graduating and all that. I had the I have the option to graduate a semester early next year, but that would require me taking two semesters, two, um, both semesters of summer school, I guess you could call them semesters, both season sessions or whatever of summer school. And I don't want to do that. I don't want to take any summer school this year, to be honest, because this is when Aiden's really going to be like, oh, let's go play outside, and he, we can be doing things. I want to do a swimming class with him, like a mommy and tot swimming class. So I'm not going to be doing that. I'm going to be graduating not this coming um, June, but 2015 June. I'm going to have a full schedule next year, um, first through eighth period. Um, 
I'll be taking three or four science classes because I do want to go into nursing and I want to get as many medical slash science classes in that I can and then all my other required classes and I'm trying to think of like what to talk about. I feel like totally, I'm going to look at my list really quick. Um, I guess I'll tell you like about my weight and everything. Um, I weigh like 120.2, which is not where I want to be at. I have been slacking on working out and eating healthy and all this stuff because it's just so hard to like focus on yourself really. I think when you're focusing on a baby like all the time and so I weigh 120.2 and I really want to start um, doing at least some like crunches or ab works out ab workouts before I get switched into that gym class so that I have like some muscle to be working with and I am not like starting out at zero. Um, my goal weight would be 105 or 110. I was under 100 pounds before I got pregnant so that's like an A-OK -okay weight for me. I'd rather be closer to 100 but 105, I think, is a healthy weight for me, and I'm good with that. Um, also, something that does affect my weight um, right now is my birth control shot. Oh, God, my cat is, like, on the keyboard. Not going to happen. Is my birth control shot. Um, I get the depo shot every three months, and I did notice that I gained, like, five pounds, but that could be, like, my own excuse. So if, I don't know, like... I wasn't really like trying to be healthier or eat more junky foods, but I did notice that I gained a little weight with the shot. Um, I really like the shot. It's something that I don't have to be like, oh my god, I have to take my pill right now. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. It's like really laid back and I don't have to worry about it. I go every three months, the doctor gives me a shot in my butt, and I don't have to worry about it for another three months. And it's also really helped me with my acne give or take that I have like a few um, blemishes right now that's because I'm really stressed out because I'm planning Aiden's birthday party which will be very soon and I don't know I just feel really stressed right now because I'm trying to fix things with George so that him and I can co-parent and so that he can start helping me out more and I'm just trying to make things work for everybody which is really sucky because you can't make things work for everybody and I really want to so it's just like making me go crazy and also I'm sick right now with bronchiolitis so he doesn't sleep at night so I'm running on zero sleep and yeah my life has been very crazy lately but I will leave you guys at that I can show you my 11 month postpartum belly <laughs> yeah my sweater is not helping, but this is my stretchy belly. Yeah, my belly button's really freaking huge. I have a little bit of stretch marks here. Stretch marks don't bother me. I just don't like how my belly's pudgy. Like, I don't like all this. So that's what I'm going to try and work on um, bettering myself. Also, something that I really want to tell you guys really quick is I'm still breastfeeding Aiden, and I'm going to do a breastfeeding video because I'm going to be stopping this coming December, and yeah, I'm just really proud of myself about that. But yeah, I will see you guys in some upcoming videos. I really don't know if I covered what I wanted to in this video. It was really a spur of the moment. I need to make a video. But please, if you guys have any questions or video requests, that would really help me get back on track with making videos because I don't know what to do with videos as of right now. So please, please, please comment below something that you want to see or anything. But thank you for watching. I will talk to you guys later. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Miss Mama underscore 1217. I know it's not Teen Mommy 2323. I didn't like that name and I don't know how to change it on the YouTube. So follow me at Miss Mama 2323 on Twitter and Instagram. Bye.